This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And a really pivotal match to bring you. We're at the quarter-final stage of the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Australia versus France. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere and everything to play for. A last four places up for grabs here. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Here's the side France will go with. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And so the battle commences. Sakina Karshawi. France looking dangerous here. Gayoro. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Now options are plenty. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Good looking sequence. And players waiting in the centre. Tremendous ball played through. Well, it might still work out for them. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Might go ahead, and a goal! That is a very bright start, perfect way to open. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, this is almost perfect. Lots of curl and enough pace on it. The keeper had no chance. She's playing with a purpose. Very quick thinking there. Eugénie Le Sommer.
Sandy Toletti. On to Le Sommer. And now passing it through. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Now, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And still looking to get the shot away. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Le Sommer. Gaioro. Can they get in behind them? Chance to cross. Really vital interception here. And threading it forward. Can she do it? An important challenge, but they must remain organised. Selma Basha. Good move in the making from France. The cross is on. Well, that is quite simply a tremendous stop. Well, you have to praise the goalkeeper there. That is absolutely brilliant. The way she makes the save, you couldn't get any better than that. And the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is. Playing it short. And the flag does go up offside. Corey. Now here's Kerr, Ford, Kerr, takes the shot, and no problems at all for the keeper, one minute of stoppage time has been added on, and the referee takes exception to the challenge, free kick, and appeared to be on the cusp of being booked, but got away with that one. chance oh magnificent reaction and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game well it's advantage France after the first 45 but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over and options in the centre and very deftly cut out Grasse Gayoro. Gianni. Now with Le Sommer. Now oh, that's a well timed pass. 
And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So 2-0 now. And they need to get tighter. Could reduce the deficit. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball and create? High quality defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. It needs an accurate cross. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead could get even better here yes it's going to plan and they might be able to carve out another chance well not cleared away completely threat over for now it seems Sam Kerr went in strongly to win the ball De Almeida Sakina Karshawi now with Le Sommer. poor pass under no real pressure now can they counter clinically chance to reduce the arrears a goal that's exactly what they needed that should get them believing again Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top-quality goal. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Ten minutes left for play. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Sakina Karshawi. Now here's Majri. Doing well to keep possession and giving it away. Five minutes remaining and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. Eugénie Le Sommer. Gaiogo. Superb block. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, what an opportunity. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And the referee's whistle, France, will be in the semi-finals. Well, they were certainly pleased to hear the final whistle because that was a really tough match, which in the end they just about deserved to win. This is a good result for them and they're going to the next round fancying their chances.